lang Kufra against this uh, Ruby. Actually, what if they go for the Phobius? Maganda ang Phobius ngayon para sa NXP Evos. Pang-cancel siya dun sa Eve. Decent siya na lane against Blue. At maraming mga dash. Instead, they go Edith para sa smart hmm. para sa next for Evos. Although, they missed out on that opportunity na kumuha ng Phobius. It, it is very good dun sa composition niya. So, Edith here going to the XP lane, si Oreshi ang nilalaro niyan. And then, Cadenza, Kufra. Alright, so, mid-Dave's, oh sorry, yeah, mid mid Sicilian. Ang mangyayari dito, Donut's gonna be playing the Claude. So, malinaw nga, may mga lanes or may mga farming phases lang ang uh, next play Evos. Tapos, Omega yeah. naman, a little more orthodox. Parang, mas gets natin kung ano yung tempo at yung galaw yeah. ng Omega in this game here. Alright, so, so... It's like a your, your textbook um, uh, mid range or mid range or mid game <laughs> na composition. Mm -hmm. Ang masasabi ko dito sa Claude Pick, uh, sobrang tricky niya kasi in theory in uh, kaya niyang counterin yung mga heroes or may sagot siya dun sa heroes ng uh, ng Omega individually. For example, okay, good siya with Glue kasi may Art of Thievery but meron siyang pang outplay dahil meron siyang dash. I mean meron siyang BMI tapos kaya niyang i-run down with DHS. Um, individually din, good siya against Eve, di ba? Pwede ka nga mag-BMI sa likod, up your ultimate, kill the Eve. Individually good against Olus kasi mahirapan yung Olus na bullet shot. Pwede siya maubusan ng buhay before he is able to hit the cloud. But put them all together as a combo na may kasamang Ruby. At tapos meron pa siyang kasamang Sicilian, baka dun siya mahirapan. We're gonna see how this pans out. Game number two, tingnan natin. Match point nga pala for Omega. It's do or die for next play EVOS. Let's go to game number two. And on the map, we'll see 30 seconds in. Ruby on Chakno, the catch. And ito na, bottom lane. Ito na, Wolf, pinapahirapan. Nirendyo si Ureshi. Clear win for the Glue. 100%. Glue yata yung mga pinakamalakas na lane bully ngayon. I honestly felt na next play EVOS could have... could have picked up the Phobies instead. Kasi, kung, di ba nung nauso yung Ruby at yung Eve, ang autoban nun kapag gusto mong gamitin yun is the Phobius. Why? Because Phobius mm -hmm. can cancel yung ultimate ng Eve. Gamit yung kanyang Astaroth's Eye. Second, puro dash kasi yung Ruby. Uh, lahat ng, uh, every time magsis magsiskill si Ruby, meron siya dash. Which means that's automatic na maganda yung Phobius. At also, kaya niya mag frontline sa front line against Omega. Not even... Uh, Considering na meron pang ibang mga heroes na pwedeng uh, ma-burst down nga naman itong Phobius. But instead, they went in for the Edith. I wonder if this will be enough. Kasi nakikita nga natin na nahihirapan na siya agad against Renzio. Uh, uh, ang hirap. Uh, I, was, I was thinking okay lang na maging dead lane itong Edith. Pero kung ganyan ka panalo, kung ganyan kalamang si Renzio, it's gonna be harder for the Sicilian and the Claude to farm up on Haze and on Donut. Kinan natin top lane mo, masasandwich yata si Donut. Hindi maganda. It should have off come first blood. Outplayed gets the kill. Yeah. One thing that we have not talked about yet is uh, okay na, uh, yung Popolid Koopa na last pick ng Omega is really good against the Claude. Kasi, uh, although obviously yung uh, Blazing Duet affects both the uh, Popol and the Koopa, but in the laning stage, ang hirap niyan para kay Donut. Na weapon master to na at pag once na mag-clear niya agad yung lane at muna siya mag-level oh! 4, automatically masustan niya agad. And, uh, mahirap talaga nakaharap ito. Not to mention, Wolf, 2 minutes pa lang. Nasa 1-8 na lang ng buhay yung Tore. Kinailangan na oh, ng baby sitter dito. We do not. And now, Chuck Nu tries to escape. That's going to be the ult by Hayes. Taanon, drawing a line. And all this time, hindi ganun ka confident. Kahit na lahat ng membro ng Omega, majority nasa top lane, hindi makapag-turtle ng libre si H2. Ganun niya rin na-respeto yung lineup ng Omega kasi nga, ang ganda rin ng early game ramp-up. Yeah. And this means na Omega ay maging sobrang komportable sa game na to. Unlike the previous game, kung saan hirap yung Olus, this time pwede, pwede siyang mag-roam around sa mapa. Ang laki na nalamang niya. And I'm pretty sure na naka-dip din siya dun sa may top lane kung saan na napotomba na lahat ng outer turret energy shield. So may extra go dyan na nakuha. Ngayon, they're moving in for the turtle. Oh, oh, oh. There's a pull by the Mamba, outplayed going 1v1 with the Lancer of H2 gets his man, and Chakra was a stun, 3v1 yun, and Flicker used up, 
Oh, na this ruby? Ngayon, next to Evo, sila naman ang babawi, sila naman ang kukuha ng libreng gold dito sa top lane Tibber. Oh, top lane tier 1. Ah, oh, but the next change is Omega Esports kuha dun sa my bottom lane. So, uh, tama lang din yung palitan dito ng side ng Omega Esports ng NXP. However, na, naubusan ng minion sa itong bottom lane uh, Omega Esports. So, nakabawi talaga ang NXP. Now, Donut! All of a sudden, may DHS na siya. And at 4 minutes, oh, pero, still pretty good timing for this clone. Makakagat siya. Yeah, and nabawi, nabawi na nga eh. Even if that was the first blood, you isang bisita na yun ng uh, next to Evo sa top lane. Nahabo nila na close lane gap. Exactly. Parang 500 na lang. Yup. And this means na ng uh, NXP Evo sa uh, Premier League Donut. By the way, Donut opted to go for Avarice na typically hindi na go to ng mga Claude. Ooh! Thank you. Oh. So this Renzio buying time again. Kanina nang 1v5 siya pero nasa late game na yun. Ngayon, 4 minutes, kaya 3v1. Yeah. Hindi pa kaya. Uh, Donut picked up. Uh, I didn't catch that. Pero baka boots nyo yun. At 4 minutes and uh, 45 seconds, maganda na yung uh, estado ng, next, ng uh, gold lane ng NXT Evos. We're talking about how difficult this crowd uh, game will be kapag early game. But this time, ma maganda yung kanyang tempo. Nakakuha pa siya ng lane dito sa may mid. So, pwede, uh, may, binibigyan niyata siya ng 2 lanes ng NXT Evos. Uh, then again, push bottom lane. 2v3 situation down here in bottom lane and there's the blazing duet. Medyo makate na nga rin. Between these two main damage sources ng next play Evos, napa-retreat doon si Renzio at si Ryzen. Yup. Uh, DHS na ang, ang item ni Donut. So, pumupulit na to. Makate na. But, yun yung problema kapag natalanan siya dito ni Renzio. Uh, and as we saw, based on the new patch, ladies and gentlemen, sobrang dali nang mang-grab-grab. After the split split, almost instantaneous yan based on the new mechanic. Pero wait, natatalo lang sa dito. Mika Denza, Ryzen punished hard. Mapapatay siya doon. Nang dalawa dito and there's no response. Another turtle is gonna go over to next play Evo. Kasi kulang din ang klase ng red ring. That's gonna be Chiro going up for next play Evo. Reward manipulation. Nagahanap, nagagrab-graban dito si Renzio. Nga blazing the weapon sa likod! Si Kapitan Kaidi! That's gonna be the battle mirror image out! Reshi nasa kaya dito ni Renzio! Tapat ba ang damage? Dadalik ng ilan ng torre! Down goes the Edith! Make her out by Renzio! There's the punish! Phantom execution! Into the tall grows! Kulang niyang isang oh. basic attack! Hindi pa napatay oh. ni H2! John Paul Salonga walking away! No kills! Well, Renzi... Renzio was definitely saved by Chaco! Ang yung sinasabi natin na stun! ng Ruby na nakaka-irita kung ikaw ay assassin going up against the uh, Ruby. Yung pang-cancel, yung combo breaker na mechanic na yun. Hapang kumuha si H2 ng uh, orange buff. We'll see a little bit of the uh, turtle fight that happened. You can see si Donut inultian na agad dito si uh, Eve. And ito yung uh, one of the reasons why we're saying na uh, sagot yung Claude doon sa Eve because solely of uh, that. Renzio able to get a kill onto the Edith. Uh, already showing na superior explainer talaga ang blue. Mm -hmm. Oh, real time! Round 2, how about it? Finally, Renzio goes down. Kinombo siya sa ilalim ng tier 1 in mid. Nakabawi ang next play Evos doon. Where, by the way, nakakuha na sila ng gold lead. I think Outplayed has started joining fights more kaya hindi siya nakaka-farm masyado. Natatagalan siya mag-manage ng top lane. Ngayon din na siya sa baba. And because of that, lamang na ang uh, next to Evos. Pero very small kasi mabawi na sila. Another potential kill on to Chaknu. Mangilog survives. Backing out. Pero ito, inetreated mo nila ang push sa mid. Ayaw umalit sa next to Evos. Yeah. It's all about that push. Para, it's all about the mid lane. Para sa pares sa team sa toad. Not giving up. Eh. One thing pala na masasabi ko dito about sa Popolin Kupa, it's good uh, sa last pick para sa Omega Esports, but we uh, forgot about the fact na masaya si H2 na merong uh, uh, Popolin Kupa sa side ng Omega Esports. Yung extra dashes, extra puncture mm -hmm. during team fights. That one extra can mean the world para sa isang Lancelot in the late portions, or latter portions of the game or when the team fight does happen. This time, ang Lord ang pag-aagawan ng dalawang teams. And H2 already up with a Blade of Despair. Gagamitin nila to. Look at the positioning of Chakto as well as Outplayed. Pwede lang cowboy. Yun na nga. Oh! May lockdown sila. Pinili at ang blazing duet. Nabuhay pa si Outplayed doon. Pero si Donut not in any shape to fight. That's going to be one major factor para sa next play Evo. So say wait lang mamaya na guys. Hindi pa natin ito kaya. Pa-purple muna. Page 2. May Lito Wanderer. Tsaka meron din siyang uh, 
uh, Purify. That's why he managed to survive, to survive that uh, make off and outplayed almost, but not quite. Ah, uh, nakita na natin ang Oh, that's a nice job by Cadenza. Mapipick off dito si Renzio. Donut gets the kill and slowly but surely, ang ganda ng ramp up ng isang Claude into this early, into this mid game. We're leaving the mid game. Dahil uh, 9 minutes in na, this is going to be an early Lord. Nasaan si Ryzen? No? I don't think they can contest this. It's very difficult. Yeah, and that's not that they wala rin naman dito sa area. But then again, ang uh, NXP meron silang Claude. So pwede itong slowly nakakunin itong uh, Lord. They are in Tito with that. Another jump okay. in and pull. Yakno coming in. Knock up via the Lord. That's going to be the phantom execution. It's beginning to get this. And there's the red three. Coming in. Perfect timing for H2. But real manipulation. Mahuli pa si Dora. Last time. Good to me. But boundaries. Now, real manipulation. And there's a sanguine cross. Keeping the name H2. Outturing on through target after target. Tinudok, tudok, tinuhog niya. Ang isa, dalawa. Pero may bawi pa pala. One for two so far. Pero na a Lord ang next break he was doon. Oh my god, okay, so well done from NXP EVOS. So, uh, Nahinawakan talaga nila yun at masyadong malayo si uh, Ryzen. Well done out. Nakita niyo nung, nung binugaw ni Chakno ang NXP EVOS. Yung inultihan niya doon uh, yung combo ng uh, NXP which was Ed Edith plus uh, Hufra. Hindi binitawan ng NXP. Nagback lang sila ng konti tapos nasalo ng isang member nila yung Lord kaya hindi nag-reset. And then eventually dahil super low na yung Lord, sila rin nasa advantage. Eto Max had to pop the uh, ultimate. Ang ganda nung kanilang pag-collapse kay Donut kasi alam nila walang purify eh. So saktong-sakto yung kagat ni Outplate tapos hindi na nakatakas dahil na-stun doon sa boundary ng real world manipulation na reset. But yung Sanguine Claws was perfectly used by the side of NXP Evos. Nakita natin mula kay uh, Yelly Hayes na napigilan talaga niya yung pag uh, yung additional kills na Omega Evos. Yup! Yep. And just like that, walang maisagot si Chak nung nahuli siya ng combo after combo ng skills ng next play Evos. And they opened up bottom lane pero top lane bumabawi. Trabaho lang dito. Si Ryzen, Mr. Sumagi, taken one. So, again, Wolf, I think babalik na naman tayo sa point na Omega naman ang magka-spike. Kasi, Basta tama yung positioning ng itang Aulus. Yun lang ang makalaban niya eh. Mobility. Basta maganda ang lugar niya. He might be good. Ang Dying Fury. Placed here to stop the push. And yan sasaloy ni Renzio. Ang ult ni, ka, ni uh, Apple Pea siya, ni Hades. We're looking oh. for that spike for Omega. Yun ang bawi nila. Pero next week, they're in control. Yep. Oh, wow. I, I, I uh, really think that the main pod may... Semi, may, may small rivalry itong dalawang teams na to. So many times na nakita natin when Omega Esports go up against next place, Evos. Nag-init talaga ang mga laban. And usually, it, end, it ends up in a full series, man. Lagi kung mm -hmm. three, best of three yun, it will end up 2-1 for sure in either team. At hindi ako magulat kung ganito yung mangyari, especially with how NXP is handling yung kanilang composition. It was very expensive. Meron silang Cecilion, meron silang Claude. Kailangan nila talaga pumunta sa late game. But so far, so good for their team. Sila yung nakakalamang at 12 minutes. And that's all that they are needing. And Hayes, nakakuha na nga siya ngayon ng kanyang purple buff. Which means na madali niyang madedepensahan yung mga lates. Kaya niyang i-spam lang talaga yung kanyang mga spells. Yep, now that we're talking about Hayes, kanina pa tayo donut ng donut, kanina pa lang pinapatsin yung Claude na kung paano siya nag-survive ng early, na-apos siya, natitretin niya si Kaidik. Pero... Hindi natin napapansin, ang sakit na rin pala ng Cecilion. Sobrang threat na talaga ngayon ni Hayes. So Omega Esports, ang dami nang inisip, ang dami nang kailangan i-manage. Uh, And looking at the item game, kulang na lang na isa pang full item. Well, pabuo na to, pabuo na tong item ni, uh, ni Donut. Pero on the way na siya. And not to mention, maganda rin naman ang farm ni uh, H2 dito. He hasn't died. Siya at si Hayes, hindi pa namamatay. So very importante nun. <laughs> very important. And nag, nag slow down yung ating laban. Finally, may DHS na si Outplay kasi he went for the defense build mo na. Wind of Nature yung kanyang uh, pinaprioritize. This time, he's gonna hit uh, hard in the DHS. Pwede niyang bigyan yung Edith. Pwede niyang i-focus yung Edith as well as the Kufra. Ito yung sinasabi natin na minsan kailangan mong bigyan yung mga nasa harap ng sakabad. And sometimes yun yung uh, nagiging... Uh, 
toka ng mga marksman. For in, in the case of the Claude, ang kailangan naman niyang puta na backlight kasi meron siyang PMI and he needs to manage tong si Etomax. That's why he went for the good force breastplate. I think Wind of Nature din yung kanyang isusunod afterwards para at least makapag-duelo siya versus Olos as well as this Populate Koopa. We'll see. Now, Chakno already tanking up. Atenacity siya. Tapos, meron na siya ngayong uh, Radiant Armor. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, sorry, sorry, it's not a Radiant Armor. Uh, uh, he went for Athena Shield for the Magic Defense. Again, 7 SP Evos. And now, ma meron na tayong uh, Lord Ulet. And everybody is trying to hide. Look at the positioning of the members of the SP Evos. For our uh, orange buff, I just want to it ni H2. Nanakawin nila to. And there's a backup from Oreshi. And now we see, ganito ka lumang ang next play Evo. So, uh, at least in, in, in the uh, positioning, no? They're willing to just go for the defensive items first. They're investing in the immortalities first. Kasi gusto lang patagalin yung laban. And so far, Cadenza gonna start up the fight. Might have been a little too soon. That's gonna be the pull-in. They're setting up for the close. Ang dami kinataman. I-rent yung pa mapapasama. What a counter engage. A push and pull back and forth. And just like that, talagang hindi yung laban. Maka pwede kunin ng Omega dahil ang layo ni Rentio. Another free lord going over next to Evo. Sobrang ganda ng item na napili pala ni Donut dito. Instead of going for Wind of Nature, he went for Corrosion Scythe. Para meron talaga siyang way para... Hindi uh, ma makatakas si mga tanky heroes ng Omega Esports, particularly this Ruby, this uh, Glue, and uh, also kapag eventually na ipag siya ay Ryzen, ma mas, mas lalamang siya sa laban at kaya niyang ikite ng madali itong uh, ating Olus. Then again, NXP, na-punish ulit nila. And guess what? The main problem still for Omega Esports is the Sanguine Clause. Nakita natin na nung ginaw ng Omega Esports yung uh, si Cadenza, nung tumalan si Cadenza, na-try nilang i-punish, medyo nagsama-sama sila, nagkikipipit sila with Venture needing to go up close and personal. It meant na swak na swak yung Sanguine Clause. And syempre may damage output na yung NXP Evos. Now they're on the lead. Definitely, nasa kanila na ang lamang ng momentum, pati na rin ng ekonomiya ng laban na to. Team turret has been destroyed. And just like that, all the waves perfectly sync, perfectly managed by next play Evos. An assault on all sides. They depend on the baba dito. Ni Ryzen, yun lord. So at least signs of life, no? Then na alas yung allus natin. Na pag scale na siya, na kaya niya iwan v1 yun lord at 14, 15 minutes. Still, no, wala na siyang ultimate dito, but it really can be just used dun sa pag clear ng waves and. With all due fairness para sa Omega Esports, hindi sila na nakuha ng inhibitor pero wala na silang mga outer at inner turrets. We'll see. Mukha nanakaw din ng purple buff itong NXP which is just natural. Ibigay mo yan doon sa Lancelot para yung sarili nila purple buff ay mapupunta doon sa Sicilia. Mm -hmm. And this might be a fight that they're willing to force. There's the Mamba with the pole. And then the mapapabagsak na dito. Another flat impact in Sanguine Cross combo. Blazing the way dito kay Donut. Forced to be in my back. Pero ngayon, mababa yung buhay ng sinakyan ni Renzi ito. Ryzen goes down. Still no trades. Pero ang mababa ng buhay ng next to Evo. But they're juggling it. They're juggling it. Two for one so far. Si Oreshi pala ang trinade para kay Renzi at Ryzen. And just like that, hindi makahanap ng bawi. Walang ma-capitalize ang Omega Esports. Panalo pa rin sa exchange ang next play. Sa itong melee-based composition ng Omega Esports na kailangan nilang lumapit with Chakno, Regio, as well as Ryzen. Sobrang napapanish itong Cecilion. Sanguine Claus, again, thwarting yung attack ng Omega Esports. Tapos ang ganda ng timing ni H2 going for that kill doon kay Ryzen. Nung alam niya wala nang spells na maibabato si Ryzen. Tsaka siya pumunta doon and finishing it off with the Retribution damage per second. That means na 5-0 and 2 na ngayon itong si H2. Top of all the items that he has, War Axe, tapos may Endless Battle, and Malefic Roar, and sakit niyan, and then additional Wimp Talker for even more damage. Finish it off with a Blade of Despair. Everything is doing well para kay H2. Nakakuha na siya na kanyang potion na din, and we're looking to end this game. Pwede nilang hintayin yung 18-minute mark. And Donut already starting this, pero obviously, re-reset lang din na yan. Unless, I don't know. Aabot naman. Aabot naman. Chakno, though, he picked up the Blade Armor. So... Nasagot sila yung donut problem, pero si Apple Pisa pa rin eh. Di ba taanon? Si Hayes pa rin. Napakasayin lang. Nilapot sa pita. Ryzen burst it down! Wow! Ang laking loss nun! Ang sakit nun. And now, Blazing Duet, maaga. Bo-burst down si Chakno dito. Sanguine Claws gonna take him down. Hayes gets another two free kills for next play Evos. 
split team fights not for them hindi magandang uh, sitwasyon yon dahil next week ko sobrang lamang nila isa na namang lord possibly wolf lord for the finish oh my it definitely looks like it in late game prowess ng NXP was a full potential na uh, Leo they have Sicilian and Claude Sobrang lakas ng uh, kanilang firepower sa ngayon. For Omega Esports, mid-game yung kanilang spike. Itong Olus, maganda naman siya sa late game uh, in a way. Pero kung ikukupara mo yan sa close, si Sinan, ako hindi niya kakayanin. Oh, hindi naasakay si Renzio. Walang nakuha ng grab-grab. They're struggling to defend these lanes. They're struggling to stay alive. Pero ngayon, fully recovered. They're all respond. Pero... Nag-respond din si Lord, you know, 15 seconds in, hindi pa tapos ang Diluvio. May kalbaryo pang hinaharap ang Omega Esports. What are their options here to defend? Anong plano nila dito dapat? Uh, ultimate uh, for sure ni Ryzen. Pwede niyang ibabad para dun sa mga minions. And have him support. Uh, Chakno siya yung uh, bahala mag-defend. Of course, meron silang Eve uh, for the defense. So, at meron naman talagang hope para sa defense ng Omega Esports. But this is playing not to lose. Team team yep, this is a very difficult situation. And look at this! The full combo! Blazing the well, plus the ult! And that's going to be one down, Renzio going. Ryzen, may napap siya isang priority doon. He's still gonna wail there, the winter function. And there's the jump in, burst it down. Sika din sa mga final hit. And the Lord is still standing. May waves pa rin dito, pero mababa ang buhay. Ni Hayes, mababa ang buhay niya. Apple Picha. Walang na-trade dito ang Omega Esports muli. Two inhibitors, two kills, no casualties. Next to Evos, happy to leave this for the next Lord. 80 seconds away. Oh, yeah. Save for the immortality, sobrang ganda nito. We can see na yun talaga eh. Yung melee comp ng uh, Omega Esports sa kailangan nilang lumapit, sobrang daling ipanis siyang NXP. Uh, to the point na ito nga Kufra ay uh, siya na nga talaga yung sobrang nauna. Typically, mag-aabang ka pa talaga ng tamang moment mo, but in, in that particular clash, nauna na doon si Cadenza. He knows na mayroong iba pang ways para mag-punch yung NXP dahil mayroong pa rin Eden, mayroong pa rin Cecilion. Nakakuha sila na push it sa may bottom lane. Super duper happy with the, with the result of this. At in uh, 50 seconds, the next Lord will come anyways. That's all they can do. All they need to do right now is to close it out. Yeah. Time is on next play Evo side. Okay, okay Esports, ito na yun eh. Like, most likely, ito na yung final form nila. Approach na lang ang kaya nila i-tweak. Next to Evos, peak performance na to. So, at 21 minutes, if anything, lumalakas pa si Hayes. Dahil sa stocks na nakukuha niya. So, Omega's waiting for a miracle. Omega's looking for that small mistake. Kasi, di ba, Wolf back to back? Ni pick off, wala eh. Hirap na hirap ang Omega humanap. Exactly. At this point, wait, oh, that's how we like that! Excuse me! Disgust, there's what? there's the... What? <laughs> now pick the off the CH2! Doors, man. To be fair, nabasa na Omega yun. Kanina pa nandun si H2. Kanina niya pag ginagawa yung approach na yun. And that's gonna be a jump out to Chaknu. Mabubuhay ba siya? Answer yes, he still has an immortality. And that's going to be blazing the wet already. Real revelation. Cancelled. Stop. Oh, I'll play. But that's not my old dad. Tyrant's rage into an event. And that's going to be the immortality. Burst it down by Hayes. One for one so far. Mahirap. That was a very, very key member of Omega that they took down. But Oreshi gets his ultimate pop. Undying Fury. Keeping them down. That's the slows. That's the flip. Oreshi not gonna pop. But Omega Eto Max gets him one. Kaidik going for the two for one trade. So far, Omega Esports still alive. Ito yung pinakauna lang win in a long time. Pero wait, hindi pa tapos ang next play. There's Immortality. Back out of the Mamba. Chaknu. Joshua Mangino gonna go down here. That's the Blazing the West. Plus the knockout. And that's gonna be three down. May nakarespond na ulit. Wait lang. Boy pa, Omega Esports is managing the waves. Nako, ang ganda ng timing yung next play. Wolf, they're all gonna be back in time for the final Lord. Possibly final Lord. Ang apat. Yo, man. Super duper good, tapos walang immortality si Chak nung if ever. Sobrang bilis nilang ulit ito. We can see na ang nangyari, nag nagkaroon ulit ang pendulum eh. Parang itong pendulum we're in. Kapag nakakuha lang isang pick of his team, tapos nag-overextend sila, mapupunta ng sobra-sobrang uh, rubber band pala. Hindi pala pendulum rubber, rubber band siya dun sa posing end kasi mag -re respawn na yung unang na-pick off. And that's exactly what happened in this game. Naubusan ng firepower ang Omega Esports and now NXP. They have got the advantage. A game ending lord for sure. 
Tingnan natin kung kaya pa nilang depensahin. Three lanes ang magtutulak. At may kasama pang uh, extra buffs. Just like an orange buff. Around this Lord uh, area. And walang immortalities. Apart from oh. Ryzen ang uh, Titan Omega. Wait lang. This is like that movie 300. They're trying to defend this one lane. They got a lot of defense. Ah, the Omega Eagle like stretching. Wala muna sa Pirate's Rage. And there you go. Benzio getting hit with the back claws. Puncture on through with the turn road. There's the knockup. Delegado Scacno. Amazing to whip up. So, ah, but I said, it's that. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all she wrote. Next to Evos. Even the score. One to one. Wolf. Sabi nga natin. Kapag NXP labas sa Omega. Talaga maakita tayo. Ang game number three. Yeah, this is uh, expected. Ni ready ko na sarili ko for this, and I want it to happen for sure. Hindi pwedeng matapos na lang ang kampanya ng NXP Evos with a 2-0 mula sa Omega Esports. We are going to a game decider, and just like all times, para sa dalawang teams na to, whoever loses exits the tournament, and may isa pang buhay ang mananalo. The stakes are so high. Pati na rin ang teams natin, napaganda napa ng pinapakitang intensity in this game. The 